Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 LSBDFR. We are back up here in the county with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office using this absolutely beautiful Ford Police Interceptor Utility. This one has the alloy wheels on it and we are again using the Alameda based uh, livery. Anyway guys, it's a very foggy early morning up here in Polito. We have a nice fresh blanket of snow on the ground. We're going to get out on patrol and see what happens today. So, 7 King 9, go and show me 10 41 10 8. I'm in service. Active supervisor up here in Polito. Let's go and get out on the street, see what happens. Citizens reporting, medical aid requested, units respond code 3. Alright, we have a 911 call that came in, possible car accident with injuries. 7 King 9, attachment responding code 3. Looks like it's down near the promenade. We got to be a little careful because it is snowy out here, but we do have this beast of a car. 17 on him on scene. Oh, we got two males fighting. I need code three backup. Backup needed. On hey, both Procopio of you guys stop. Promenade. Get on the ground, sir. Get on the ground now. Don't walk away. Copy on the ground. That, Copy that, Park yeah. Rangers freaking responding in force here. This guy off to my left is cowering in fear. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy in cuffs. Hi there. Oh yeah, we got the park rangers here today. <laughs> Seven King Nine, I got one in custody. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy know he's all right here. Hey sir, do me a favor, stand up. You're okay. We're here to help you. If it's gonna let me. Oh, it did it. It didn't say anything. I was like, why is it not shouting something at this guy? All right, man, do me a favor. Do you have an ID on you? Kiflam. So it looks You're like there was a kind. potential uh, head-on collision that occurred here. Uh, there's a lot of snow on the ground, so chances are someone spun out and hit someone else. But this guy who I just put in custody is probably going to be charged with some type of assault. But I'm going to go and run this guy's name through the system here. 7 King 9, can you go and run a person? It's gonna be Carter Wolf. He has a suspended license. Oh, that's not good for him. He was driving, too. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, figure out whose vehicles these are. Holy cow, the back of this car is absolutely destroyed. I can't even run the plate. Look at the back of this car. Let's get my flashlight out here. Of course, it's gonna be a 46 Edward Edward King 572 plate, but holy cow, look at this car. It's absolutely destroyed. Oh, that is a brutal accident. All right, let's go and look at this guy's car here. This guy's car doesn't look too bad. He just has every single window broken out. Yep. So, yeah, this guy's faring a little bit better. But I'm going to go ahead and guess that this gentleman here was driving this convertible that is absolutely demolished. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the VIN on it. We at least can do that. The VIN doesn't look like it's damaged. Go down all the way to the very bottom. Check VIN. In all my days. I'll probably have to put this guy in custody here in just a second. They got someone watching him good. No detail of information on the vehicle. Alright, so... At this time, I'm going to go and place this guy in custody. Alright, sir, do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, turn around and place your hands behind your back. Right now, you're being detained. Your license is coming back suspended through our system, and your vehicle is coming back with no information on the VIN, so... Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and grab you. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and place you in the back of my vehicle. We'll get this all figured out here in just a second. I'm gonna go and talk to the other guy. I'm gonna place him here. That was stellar response time by the uh, San Andreas Park Services today. Holy cow. <laughs> Those guys were on scene instantly. All right, let's go and have a talk with this gentleman here. Figure out why he decided to get into a physical altercation. Perhaps this guy in the car hit him. All right, man. So I, I let that guy go, apparently. All right, man. So I'm going to ask you uh, if I'm not going to get interrupted by my ped or my officer here. Uh, what are you doing out here today? What happened? What's going on? 
You need some fresh air? Okay, you got plenty of fresh air out here, man. You're in the beautiful forest of San Andreas. Uh, where did you come from? You just came from the hospital? Okay. Uh, where are you headed to? You want to go home? Okay, man. Well, we'll figure that out here. At this time, I currently have you detained because you attempted to get into a physical altercation with the gentleman who I have now placed in the back of my vehicle. Uh, do you live around here? I just want to know where you live, man. Do you have any warrants we should know about? Maybe from another state? Okay. Well, I'm going to go and have a buddy pat him down. I'm also going to go ahead and do a quick search on the vehicle. Yeah, this guy's car is smoking. Collection of car keys. That is suspicious. Some ammunition. We got Joey Masterson is this guy who is involved here. Passport, nothing of interest, and nothing of interest. Okay. So, a collection of car keys is definitely very suspicious. Um, I'll go ahead and run the plate. I can at least run the plate on this guy's car. But let me go and search this one real quick. What's left of it, at least. Talk about a compact car. See if my guy here wants to decide how to do this search. Uh, Trevor Phillips Industries business card is the only thing worth noting. So, let me run this plate here. If it'll bring it up, it didn't show it up at the top. There it goes. I mean, FQ2, 65 King, George William, 913. Go and see the return. No flags. All right, well, at this time, um, that guy over there in my vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and have him uh, be arrested for driving on a suspended license. I don't really know who's at fault here. I'm going to assume that the dude in the compact car... Uh, he is the one who is, uh, he's the one at fault here. So this guy I'm going to go ahead and arrest for assault. He tried to get into a fight with the other guy, so I'm going to go ahead and tell him. All right, man, here's the deal. Uh, this time you're going to be placed under arrest for assault right now. I really don't know the whole side of the story behind this, so I'll leave that up to the detectives to deal with. But at this time you are being placed under arrest for assault, man, okay? I'm going to go ahead and place him in the back of... This park ranger's vehicle. I'm going to let the park rangers take these guys down to the station and get them sorted out. I'll get the other guy transferred out of my vehicle into a park ranger vehicle. And then I'll get some tow trucks out here to grab these cars. This, uh, this convertible. Yeah, this convertible here is going to have to get put on a flatbed. There's no way this thing's being towed out of here, so. 7 King 9, can you go ahead and start me a couple of tow vehicles? I'm going to need a flatbed and a large tow truck out to my location. Flatbed, assistance needed on Procopio Promenade. And let's get the tow truck for the other car. Tow truck. And then That's I'm going to get this guy transferred on, um, out of my vehicle into Procopio the other guy's Promenade. cars. And I'll dismiss everyone, get the scene cleaned up, and I'll be back tonight. Okay. Oh, that's a signal seven too. It's gonna be hit and run as well because he did not stop. Seven King Nine, I'm gonna be a traffic with a blue pickup truck. It's gonna be a Bobcat. As soon as this guy wants to pull over, he's gonna pull over in the fire department parking lot or near the fire department parking lot. And then it's not going to be a legitimate place to pull over, dude. I'm going to go and get him way up on... This is probably not a legit place to pull him over either. But I don't want him blocking the fire department if they need to get out. Alright, well, we're going to be out with this Bobcat. Ran a red light, hit another person. It's going to be 87 William Charles Adams 769. It's going to be Polito Boulevard across Procopio right in front of the fire station here. William Charles Adams. Expired insurance, Six, nine, owner's license violation. expired. If in that is true, violation. he probably ran because he doesn't have any insurance on the vehicle, so. Alright, let's go ahead and have a talk with the driver here. Is that a blue bombcat from the way I was looking at it, it looked blue. 
How's it going, ma'am? I am Deputy Ice of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I stopped you this morning is because back there, turn here onto uh, Polito Boulevard, you ran the red. You were sitting there revving your engine as I pulled up, and then as soon as the light turned red, you just decided to pull out. Not only did you run a red light, you also hit another person, and you did not stop. So, do you happen to have your ID on you today? That is the wrong button. I keep forgetting that I uh, had to remove LSPDFR Plus. <laughs> Hi there. Go ahead and get her ID here. We've got Joy Lakeview. All right, Miss Lakeview, go ahead and sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. Yeah, I think that my uh, my lights, my xenon lights, are what's making this thing look blue. Because when I pulled up on it, it almost looked like like you can see the blue. Uh, the blue hue to the car. That's why I thought it was blue. I think it's black or carbon black or something, but go ahead and uh, jump in the system here. We'll go ahead and look up our driver, see if the return on that vehicle from dispatch is true. We've got expired license on the driver, so she does have an expired license. See what she's been arrested for in the past. Ooh, she's got a couple felonies. Involuntary manslaughter and possession of a firearm by a prohibited person. Okay, that's not good. Uh, minimum speed regulation and camping without a, a permit. Check the vehicle. Expired insurance on the Bobcat. I'm going to go and get a second unit to come out here because she is a convicted felon. I want to make sure she doesn't have a weapon on her. 7 King 9, go and start me a local patrol Backup unit for backup. And Bay. I'm going to go ahead and have her hop out. It doesn't even look like she's in the vehicle. Copy that. We're in the vicinity. She's so short. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. No, don't get back in the vehicle. Oh, she's taking off. Seven King, now I'm going to be in a vehicle pursuit. I highly doubt I'm able to report this too. Northbound Polito Boulevard. Nope, I don't think I can report this. Well, I managed to blip her again. Is she gonna stop here? Yep, alright. Here's how we're gonna handle this. 7K9, I'm gonna need some on, code 5 um, backup. Palato Boulevard. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to stop here and wait for the backup to get here. Looks like we have one officer who's rolling up. As soon as I get that person out of their vehicle. All right, we're good. Driver, exit the vehicle with your hands up now. Get on the ground. Do not run or you will be chased down and tased. Get on the ground. Moving in. This is not a legit position she's in here. I'm gonna go and get her in cuffs. All right, we got her. Seven King, now we got one in custody. We did a code five stop, Polito Boulevard, just near the uh, Auto repairs place here. Lower arm has needle marks. All right, ma'am. Well, you're going to jail now for uh, fleeing. Dispatch police. calling unit seven king nine. We have a traffic alert on um Procopio All right, I'm gonna go ahead and for narcotics in transit. Bring her right over here. Actually, is a good spot. I'm gonna get this road cleared up here. Dispatch, this is Ocean One responding. See if I can clear the road here. Yep, all police buddies are dismissed. I'm going to go ahead and move my vehicle. May have to move this woman's truck here as well, but... Alright. Attention all units. A reckless driver on a uh, Palato Boulevard. Alright, let's deal with this. Let me go ahead and have dispatch run her name. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick pat down on her just to get her ID. Yeah, she's under the influence of something. Her eyes are red. She's got needle marks. She probably ran because she's got drugs on her. She has a partially eaten Adam <laughs> up and Adam burger and a pet collar. All right, we got her ID now. I'm going to go and do a pet check on Joy Lakeview. We already had her ID from before. She has an expired license. We know that. All right, Mrs. Lakeview. So here's the deal. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for fleeing and eluding a police officer. You're also going to be placed under arrest for reckless driving, and I believe you're under the influence of some type of narcotic, so I'm going to go and give you a drug swab test real quick to figure out if that is true or not. 
We'll get her in the back of my car. I gotta search her truck and figure out if there's anything illegal in there. You're too kind. Marijuana and ecstasy. Killer combination. Alright, ma'am. Yep, you're under arrest as well now for DUI. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in the back of my vehicle. And we're to search her truck. Palms are sweaty, yeah. So we have a truck that is going to try to get by. They're going to get by just fine. All right, let's go and initiate the search here. I'm going to have to go back into search warrant and change so that it only searches one part of the vehicle instead of me having to run around the whole thing. It's more realistic to run around it, but it's takes time. Let's see what we turn up with here. Nothing of interest, really. I mean, a train ticket to Harmony, some hand sanitizer, and a box of matches. Okay. Well, at this time... Oh, we got shots fired. Come on. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and investigate that real quick. 7 King 9, I got shots fired in my area. It's going to be back over here. Turn on my lights here. Not seeing anything. Might be on the other side. I'm not going to drive over there right now. We'll see if another report comes in. That vehicle probably despawned, if I had to guess. Yeah, it despawned. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull into... What is this? Red's Machine Supplies Salvage Yard. I'm going to go and pull in here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the computer, and we're going to get the charges for Mrs. Lakeview right now. Joy Lakeview. Expired 529 days. Create the arrest report. She is going to be charged with traffic felony. Uh, leaving the scene of an accident, we could technically hit her with that because of the initial reason why I was stopping her was uh, her hitting a vehicle turning left on a red light, so. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit her with leaving the scene of an accident. Felony is done. Misdemeanor, it's going to be... Uh, fleeing or attempting to elude LEO. Reckless driving is where it was. That's what I was looking for. Um, technically, we could get her with that, leaving the scene of an accident. You know what, we're going to go ahead and take this felony charge off. We're going to go ahead and put that one. I don't know if that's his minor injuries or whatever, but we're going to go ahead and just throw that one on there. I don't think a felony hit and run is justified here. License, she had an expired license, but I can't charge her with that. Uh, DUI of narcotics. That is going to be a first offense for her. Other than that... She does not get charged with anything else. Uh, let me just go ahead and go through here real quick. Verify I got everything. Yeah, I mean, I really can't charge with anything else. So she's going to be charged with these four things. All misdemeanors go with save and close. We'll back out. We'll start a transport out here to my location. That get her out of here, and we will get back on the street. Boulevard. Citizens reporting a public nuisance. A bicycle. We have a southbound bicycle on, on the Great Ocean Great Highway. Ocean We're going to go ahead and respond to that. Just a little further up north of us. 7 King 9, go ahead and attach them. Responding code 2. Said so they're traveling southbound, so they should be in the opposite lane. We should pass them here fairly quickly. I don't know if it was flashing at it, something, but... Alright, I do have eyes on the cyclist here. 7 King 9, I have eyes on the cyclist. He has a light on, that's good. Safety first. Me flipping around in here. No shirt on. Riding down the road here. Fuck me. Seven King Nine. I'm gonna be traffic with that guy. It's gonna be a white male. He's got a yellow bike. No shirt. Black jeans. Bald. Go ahead and bring him off to the shoulder here. These parking spots should do just fine. Go ahead and get him 
Somewhere where I can safely pull off here. This is good right here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get out with this guy. Let me turn my, uh, takedowns on. Shady dude here. How's it going, sir? I am Deputy Ice, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I'm out here with you this morning is because we got a call that you were obstructing traffic on the highway here. Uh, someone was concerned for your safety. You were going pretty slow. Um, I do have to hand it to you. I'm very glad that you have a light on the front of your bike. You don't have one on the rear. Or I guess you do. It's very hard to see. Um, I also noticed your bike has some nice tires on it. So you're, you're prepared for the weather here. But you can't be on the highway, dude. This is probably one of the worst places in the county for speeders. You could have gotten hit and killed. It's just not a good thing. Um, do you happen to have an ID on you, man? Hi there. Kiflam. See if he'll hand it off to me. Looks like he's going to. We got Anthony Ryan. I'm going to go ahead and run him through dispatch. 7 King 9. Can I get a 27 29 right. on Anthony Ryan? It's going to be 10 16 90, 55 for the birthday, not 95. And he has a warrant. Well, that's nice. All right, dude, do me a favor. Go and hop off the bike for me. Go and try and place my hands behind your back. You have a warrant coming out of probably the county, if I had to guess. Officers report a suspect placed under arrest. All right, we got him detained. He's got lower needle marks. He's got needle marks in his lower arm. All right, we're going to go ahead and search this guy real quick. All right, dude, do you have anything on you that is going to hurt me, see me poke me? Potentially needles because you've got needle marks on you. This dude is definitely a drug. You look how skinny he is. And he's got a bag of marijuana. No biggie. Alright, um, I'll search his bike really quickly as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab put him in the vehicle. I'm gonna jump in the system and I'm gonna see what his warrant's for. Gotta take my car to the car wash when we're done here. Holy cow, it's getting a little dirty. Now, I'm going to search the bike real quick. See if we can find anything hidden on here. Not that there's <laughs> going to be anything. Okay. Wow. <laughs> a suicide vest and a taser. Well, that's completely not legit, but a suicide vest. An explosive device. Just riding down freaking Route 1 here. Okay. Well, this guy's getting charged with another uh, felony today for possession of a dangerous explosive device or something along those lines. 7K9, go and start a pickup truck for this bicycle. Pickup truck. Assistance needed in Palato Bay. Wow. Uh, that could have been very bad had he used that. I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and look up our guy, Anthony Ryan. He has an arrest warrant for <laughs> assault on an LEO. Interesting. That just, just keeps getting better and better. I, I could have uh, been in a real tough spot here. So I'm going to go ahead and create an arrest report for him. It's going to be charged with traffic. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be um, reckless endangerment. He's on the road on a bike. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if he's drunk or not, but either way, I don't think I can charge it with DWI or DUI of narcotics on a bike. So, uh, let's see here. He had a warrant for assault on an LEO, so we'll go ahead and charge him with that. It's a felony charge. And then, uh, didn't have anything on him, didn't have anything illegal. And then, oh yeah, we have the explosive device. I was trying to think. Uh, let's see here. It's going to be... Possibly weapons? Possession of an explosive device. There it is. Okay. Yep. He didn't attempt to detonate it, fortunately. <laughs> we, would, uh, we would probably be dead if he did. But, um, yep. That's what we're going to charge him with. He's getting charged with his, his warrant, assault on LEO, possession of explosive devices, because he had a freaking explosive suicide vest on his bike. How can you not see that? And then reckless endangerment for riding on a highway on his bike. We'll go and save and close. I'm going to go and take this guy down to the jail myself here. We'll go ahead and 
turn on my uh, stage three light so I can slow traffic down. We're gonna pull out. The pickup truck is just up the road. They will get that bike. But we're gonna drive this guy down to jail ourselves. Drop him off, get him booked. And then we're gonna get back out on the street, see what else we can get into. We have an 11351 in Palato Ford. All right, we have a suspicious vehicle reported on the Great Ocean Highway. It's gonna be about a quarter of a mile up the road from us here. We're gonna be responding to that. Report of a suspicious vehicle on the side of the road, code two response. Absolutely beautiful out here in Polito with the snow and the fog. It makes it look so much better. Oh, there's a deer right out front of us. I almost hit that thing. Here's our suspicious vehicle. Seven King Nine. I am going to be on scene with that vehicle. It's going to be a Karen de la Tante. It's like it's blue in color. Go ahead and attach a plate. It is 47 Union, David Charles 692, occupied times one. Union David Charles. That's oh, a stolen six, vehicle. Nine, two, a possible stolen vehicle. Proceed with caution. Where's my? F I don't have a traffic stop. That's why I can't call in felony backup. All right, I'm gonna call in uh, code three local patrol. Actually, we'll call in state patrol. Backup needed in. We'll also call local forward. patrol as well. Dispatch, this is Ocean One responding. Here comes our local patrol backup. All right, let's go ahead and get this code five felony stop done here. Driver of the vehicle, go ahead and do me a favor. Exit the vehicle with your hands up. Do not make any sudden movements. Look at this guy next to us. <laughs> uh, why did you tase him? Alright, we got this guy in custody. 7K9, we are code 4. We got one in custody. Alright, dude, so the reason why we just did everything we just did is because this vehicle is coming back stolen. And this is a female. I feel embarrassed. This is a, oh, the third time, third or fourth time that I've mistaken the gender of someone. Alright, ma'am. So here's the deal. Um, the reason why we pulled you out of the vehicle like we did is because this vehicle is reported stolen. So go ahead and follow me off to the side of the road here. All right, I'm gonna go and have one of my officers here search you as soon as they decide to stop walking away. See if I can get them to search, or if I can request a female. Let me do that, actually. Let me go and clear all these guys out here. Let me request a female backup here. Assistance needed in Palato And I'll have the females search her. We'll go ahead and run her ID. We will assume we got that. It's going to be Jay Dixon, 316, 1959 is the birthday. And this woman has a warrant as well. Here's our female deputy. She is going to be doing the search. I'm going to search the vehicle while this unit here is searching. For safety. Oh, I picked up a snowball. <laughs> Awesome. I'm gonna go and slow down traffic. I didn't mean to pick up a snowball there. I'm gonna go ahead and have this female deputy, if she wants to search. Does she want to search? Nope, she's not gonna search. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to perform the pat down then. Go ahead and figure out what this woman has on her. She's got a baggie of pills. That's a charge right there. Butterfly knife could be a concealed weapon, but... We'll see what her, uh her felony warrants for. I might not end up tacking on the possession of a deadly weapon or something on her, but for now, we'll search the vehicle, figure out if there's anything else we can tack on top of her charges. I also need to jump in and check what her warrant's for. She has another knife in the boot trunk. It's a pocket knife. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the computer system. We'll go ahead and look up Jay Dixon. We'll see what her warrant's for, and we will determine how to proceed with the charges from there. Ped database, Jay Dixon. She has an arrest warrant for possession of LSD. So she's gonna be charged with that, as well as some of the other charges I'm gonna hit her with. I'm gonna go and work those charges through right now.
it is going to be possession. She had a baggie of pills, so it's going to be possession of prescription pills. That is a felony charge. She also had an, a warrant, an arrest warrant for a Schedule One narcotic possession of LSD. And she's also going to be charged with possession of a stolen vehicle, which is going to be up here in theft. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, not. Let's see here. Fraud, forgery, manipulation. Where is possession of a stolen vehicle? I literally use this charge frequently. I should know where this is by now. Stolen. Duh. It's going to be in there. Possession of a stolen vehicle. Okay. Um, other than that... That's what we're going to charge you with. Possession of prescription pills, her warrant, which is LSD, possession of that, and then possession of a stolen vehicle, saving clothes, three felonies. Let's check her priors. Shooting from a vehicle, a roadway, motorcycle riding no more than two abreast, and her arrest warrant that she just got. So she never had a previous history for the rest, but she did have citations. So now she's got three felonies in the books. She is a convicted felon now. She cannot possess any weapons. So... I'm going to go ahead and get a tow truck out here for her vehicle. And we're going to see if we can snag one more scenario out here with the Blaine County Sheriff before I end my patrol. So, we've got to transport. Actually, we'll have this deputy transport her out of here. And then we're going to get back out on the street. What just happened? This guy almost rolled his truck. 7 King 9, I'm going to be eastbound Polito Boulevard. Just witnessed a vehicle almost roll over as it turned. That would have been a brilliant pullover, dude, if you had actually straightened yourself out. Not a work. People can go around. All right, we're going to be out with this. Uh, looks like a silver F-150 or gray F-150. I'm going to go ahead and run the plate on it real quick. It's going to be 81 Ida Boy Richard 233. Three. Looks like occupied times boy, one. Robert, two, three, three, Flagged for an expired registration. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this Our driver's okay. Cautious. I'd like to know what the heck happened. He must have taken that turn going way too fast. Maybe it was just turning red when he turned. How's it going, sir? I am Deputy Ice, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. So you all right, man? You almost rolled your vehicle turn here on a Polito. Uh, I'm gonna assume that that light was getting ready to turn red and you wanted to get through it and you just literally <laughs> I I was Planning on turning right there. I was going pretty quick and then I see you come around the corner and you almost rolled So that, that's what's uh, that's what's going on right now um, Do you have an ID on you? Go and get his ID we've got Evan Misso All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the uh the basics here. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I can't ask him if he's been drinking. Uh, I can stop to pet him. Alright, let's do that. Go and hop out of the vehicle for me real quick, man. Alright, go and follow me off the side of the road. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. I just wanna make sure this guy isn't drunk or something like that before I let him go. But he doesn't look intoxicated. I haven't had any signs of it. Alright, man. I just got a few questions for you here. Um, have you had anything to drink today? You don't drink alcohol? Okay. Have you had any drugs recently? You've never used drugs in life? Good for you, man. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Just go ahead and sit here for me. Um, I will be right back with you, man. I'm going to go ahead and run into the computer system real quick. I'm going to search him. Just verify he's all good. I know that his uh, registration has expired on his truck. I'm not concerned about that right now. He's valid, no once. Previous citations for illegal dumping and duty to yield to public transit vehicles. And the vehicle's not coming back to anything. I don't know why. I did run the plate on it. I don't know why it's not detecting the vehicle. Let me pull up a little bit. Maybe it will. Interesting. Weird. Yep. Not coming back. All right. Well, uh, we'll go ahead and assume that his registration is expired. So... I'm not going to give him a ticket for that. I'm going to actually cut him loose here. Have him take care of that. 
All right, Mr. Misso, here is what's going to be happening today. I'm going to be cutting you loose with a uh, couple of things. First and foremost, we got shots fired behind us. I'm going to be cutting you loose with a written warning for your expired registration. I'm also going to be... What is... Okay, hang on a second. All right, dude, here's the deal. Here's your crap. Take... Get off. Get out of here. Drive safe. I got to go figure out what this shooting is all about. Second freaking time there's been a bunch of shots fired here in Polito. 17 now I got shots fired near my location. Coming from way up here. Right here on the right. Oh, we got a shotgun. 17 now I got mail with a shotgun. Drop it, drop it. Let me go ahead and tase him actually. It'll pull out the dang taser. Wow, I just missed him. On the ground. He shot at me. Dude, if you freaking point that gun at me, you're dead. Seven key nine shots fired. He just shot me. Go ahead and get an ambulance. Ambulance. Backup needed. In I'm also going to request Bay. multiple local patrol units as well. Holy cow, that- I kinda had a feeling that guy was gonna point that gun at Copy me. I'm gonna go ahead and clear his body, I'm gonna clear his gun. He's packing a shotgun. What the heck is this guy running around with a shotgun here for? Crazy. Yeah, man, it is crazy. Wow. Holy this cow. Let me go ahead and shut off my siren here. Code 4 dispatch, we have EMS on scene. I picked up another snowball, awesome. <laughs> at least I shut my siren off. How's it going, deputy? Go ahead and come back over here and see how the uh, EMS is. Looks like CPR was successful. The pet is alive. He's going to be transported. He's also going to be charged with attempted murder of a law enforcement officer if he ends up surviving this. I did light him up a few times. Hit him, I don't know, four or five times. EMS is going to bug out back there. This guy's just going to limp over to the hospital. To the ambulance here. He's going to be put in the ambulance. Well, that was a... Attention all units. We drive and brake request on the Sonora on, Freeway. That is nowhere near me here. Alright guys, that is going to conclude this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. And consider subscribing to my channel. That was a very dramatic ending to our video. Uh, to have that situation come up where we had to uh, fire back in self-defense. But anyway guys... I have some user requested content that I am going to be working on here pretty soon. Actually, viewer requested is what I meant to say, but I had some viewers request some stuff, and I'm going to be doing that. I love it when you guys request me to do stuff. Go ahead and post those in the comments, and I'll see if I have the time to do them. But anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next LSPDFR. Take care.